All right, we have to talk about another story here that the middle of the island is getting screwed over. And I've spoken about this before, about the trash trains. Uh, and uh, actually, News 12 covered this a, about a week ago. Uh, but CBS actually spoke about this back in December 16th. I apologize for the delay in reporting on this. Uh, but I'll read you the article here. Uh, so a battle over garbage is brewing on Long Island with landfills closing. Much of Long Island's garbage is being trucked out of state. Whereas, like I said, I believe in incinerating it in these, uh, you know, clean waste to energy plants. Uh, but they don't uh, do that. So an industrial lot in Brentwood could soon be its newest transfer station where waste will be loaded onto rail cars and sent north and west. Uh, so that means we're going to have trash trains on the main line, folks. That's what that third track is really going to be used for. Uh, so, uh, But on the streets surrounding the proposed site, residents aren't having it. We are no longer going to be a dumping ground for Long Island, said Maria Gonzalez Prescott with the Brentwood School District. Yeah, that's right. Brentwood is treated like a, a dumping ground. This is the community with some of Long Island's highest COVID numbers, tragic MS-13 student murders, and parks shut down after illegal dumping. Residents like Anna Fernandez said they've been dumped on enough. Yeah, and so have all of us in the middle of the island. The facility is going to open at 6 a.m., closing at 8 p.m., six days a week with 28 trucks coming in an hour, 32 on peak hours, she said. Can you just imagine the impact in this area here? They are asking the DEC to reject Omni recycling of Brentwood's application for a facility that would move 2,300 tons a day of construction debris and solid waste. The opposition isn't just in Suffolk County. It can also be heard along the Long Alvera tracks through Nassau and into Queens. Yes, finally, where a a opponents for antiquated locomotives haul the waste in open rail cars, creating noise and pollution for 1.5 million people living along the tracks. Mary Person Laval with the Civics Uni United for Railroad Environmental S Solutions says the Brentwood facility will bring even more. At, so, the, so they're saying that there are already waste trains. At 3 in the morning, you already hear houses being shaken, people awoken. Emissions, I mean, people have to cover their noses. Uh, Omni Re Recycling's application says it will have no I significant impact at all. So uh, the uh, uh, significant environmental impact. And the company didn't respond to requests. The DEC is reviewing public comments on their proposed facility and has not said yet when it will rule. Will rule. After reviewing the comments, the DOC will prepare a response which will require additional information from the applicant. The DEC will issue its decision on the permit after this response is complete. So it uh, doesn't say exactly where this is, but I have an idea where it's going to be. Uh, and I'll show you where it is. It's actually not far from the Edgewood Preserve. <laughs> Are you surprised? I'm not. So this is the Edgewood Preserve right here. And this is where it's going to be because there are tracks here. I think it's this this area right over here where they want to put it. Um, in this area, I think. Somewhere over here, I think. This is where the tracks are. So I think it's somewhere in this area right here that they want to build it. I know News 12 is showing the area. Uh, and um, I'm thinking it was somewhere over here. I'm not sure, but you can see this is already one of the facilities uh, where they are uh, going to put these. I think it's in here. Um, there are a couple of, uh, but I, there are a couple of areas where they they could be uh, looking at. It doesn't say where this is. So let me let me okay, hit the, the play. Plan we'll see where it is. <laughs> the plan. She said the plan. There you go. It's, it's all you need this to hear. Industrial lot in Brentwood could soon be its newest transfer station, where trash is loaded up. All right, so let's see that you can see and look there are pine barrens right there. There are pine barrens right there. All right So let's see uh, They're showing what it looks like from the air uh, And there are pine barrens on this side. So that's why I think it's this spot right here that they are showing here so let's play this a little more and sent north and west but on the streets surrounding the proposed site residents aren't having it we're no longer going to be a dumping ground for uh long island this is exactly the that's the what the middle of the island is being treated like a dumping ground student murders and a park shut down after illegal dumping residents like anna fernandez says they've been all right so there let's see are they show where they are so let's see there's a gate there so let's see it's probably it might be over here in this spot. It's, it's in this spot somewhere, so we're going to find it. Look at all the trucks here. Look at all the trucks. Ah, here, here's the spot they are at. So this is it right here. 
Yep, that's where they're going to put it, right there. So that's where they want to put it. So this is just part of the plan. You see what I'm talking about? Middle of the island being ruined. This is all part of it, man. Uh, you know, they want to dump these waste trains here. They want to literally dump the trash, as in material trash. They want to dump all the problems here, all the homeless, all the drug addicts, all the ex-cons. And if you want to have a good quality of life on Long Island, well, sorry. You're priced out now. Because that's only for a certain demographic. So, um, yeah, no, we know the plan already. We've drawn it out a million times here. You know, they want to ruin the middle of the island. That's what they're doing. They're dumping all the problems here. They're dumping all the problems here. This is all more proof of what's going on. And you know what? Go ahead, snobs. Give me 100 dislikes. Let's break the record here. All right? Because you know they don't want us talking about this. You know, they want me to be quiet about it. Well, well, they go ahead and, and pillage my island and, and, and only give only the best. They've corrupted the government, getting the best for their own kind, while the whole middle of the island is just being treated like a dumping ground. It's just going to be an extension of Jamaica. Here's Jamaica. It's just going to be one. It's just going to turn to Jamaica the whole way out in the middle of the island, all the way out to Ronkonkoma. All right. And maybe parts of the North Shore, too, get ruined. While the best, while the best is, is reserved for a certain spoiled demographic sitting pretty in the South Shore and towns like Massapequa, Belmore, Merrick. Oh, they'll be living it up in their enclaves. Belmore, Babylon, West Islip, maybe Lyndhurst, too, Rockville Center, Lindbrook, all that. But sorry, you can't live there because it's only for a certain demographic. you got to have white skin and work on Wall Street. Otherwise, you're not going to get into those towns. And you know where you're going to have to go? You're going to have to go live in New Jersey, where at least New Jersey cares about the environment. They don't dump garbage in the middle of the island. I'm completely against this plan for waste trains on the middle of the island. You know, I support the third track project if it's for more service. But I'll tell you this. My concern is they're going to just use it to dump more garbage trains in our area. That's really what it's going to be for. Uh, and it's all part of the plan. So there you go. So that's it. Take care. Thanks for watching.